Normandy, the land of France's smelliest culinary treasure, Camembert cheese. In this farm, a herd of 110 purebred Normand cows graze away to produce unpasteurized organic milk. But the secret ingredient for Camembert perfection comes in this flask. I'm going to add penicillium camembert to the milk of the day. Penicillium camembert, an albino strain of fungi. Every day, cheesemaker Patrick Mercier pours this mixture into milk. Without it, you wouldn't get that distinctive white rind. In order to make the original camembert from Normandy, we must add this mold strain. Nearly 800 camembert wheels are made here on a daily basis, from fresh curds hand ladled into molds, an ancestral technique. But the arrival of penicillium camemberti in the recipe books is fairly recent. This is our cheese cellar. Over the last 70 years, this fast-growing strain has come to dominate the camembert industry at the expense of other species that have vanished from disuse. Historically, camembert was made without penicillium. Could I go without it now? I don't know. <laughs> it wouldn't look or taste the same. I don't know if I could do that. Time will tell. The icon of French cheeses has come to rely on a single species of fungi. But scientists are now warning that this could be a dangerous gamble, as this unique strain could be at risk of dying out. Biologists from the French National Center for Scientific Research were among the first to raise the alarm. Penicillium camemberti is having fertility issues, making it unable to renew the strain's genetic diversity. This species cannot reproduce sexually, which means it can't exchange part of its genome and DNA with other individuals. In the long run, from generation to generation, the species will degenerate and vanish. To create more of this fungi, cheesemakers have no choice but to clone it. Scientists believe Penicillium camemberti originated in a lab in the 19th century after a biochemist isolated the albino mold strain. But it would be many years before the industry adopted it to make camembert and brie cheeses white and more appetizing. In the 1950s, we saw a shift in the typical features of camembert and brie cheeses, especially the rind. In this photo from 1953, you can see the rind was bluish and grey. The potential extinction of Penicillium camemberti might not be a death sentence for camembert after all, but camembert as we know it today, immaculate white. Bringing back other strains along with the colors they produced could ensure its survival, while also restoring lost biodiversity along the way.